All right. Enough, enough complaining about work. I'm sorry that it ate up so much of tonight's lovely, lovely stream time. Um, Danganronpa. Danganronpa. Uh, did I ever finish the Arctic part in Dark Souls 2? I did. I finished it that night, Arcus. Um, I got salty. I, I deleted Dark Souls 2. I reinstalled it and just said, fuck it, I'm beating it. And then I went on to beat it, and I never want to think about Dark Souls 2 again. Um, that's that's pretty much where where I am. <laughs> uh, I finished uh, the highlighting the VODs, so all the VODs are in a collection on Twitch, and they will eventually be making their way over to YouTube, uh, just like all of our series will be. By the way, guys, say hi to YouTube. You can go sub over to the YouTube if you don't uh, see the... Um, if you don't keep up with Twitch VODs or um, or live streams, if it's a little hard, because I know we got a lot of folks who are out of the time zone, can't always make every stream. Uh, the YouTube content is a little bit dated right now because I've been a very bad person and haven't been on top of it. And I don't really do like exclusive content for YouTube at the moment. Uh, it's mostly just like archival stuff for the past VODs. Um, Plenty to be doing like some some stuff on there or making like highlight clips or something and giving like overall impressions, but we'll see how it goes. Anyways, hi YouTube. Remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell. I did that call to action. Dark Souls 2 is your favorite Dark Souls of all time. Fuck Dark Souls 2. Worst, worst, worst Dark Souls. It's not a it's not a terrible game, but it felt like a bad Dark Souls to me. Except for the Arctic DLC. That shit was just wild and uncalled for. Have a good night, Hoobian. Appreciate you stopping by. Have a good day tomorrow. All right, so to recap, we found... One second. It is murder time. Well, last night was murder time. Uh, to recap, last night, Byakya was our self-proclaimed leader. And if you were here for Danganronpa 1, spoilers, Byakya was in Danganronpa 1. Hmm. Kind of sus that he became the first murderer. The first murderer. The, the murdy. The first victim. Uh, the first death of this game. Um, similar to the idea of the first one, right, where high school students were tasked with murdering people to leave our current living environment, and we need to not be detected or not be caught in order to leave. So our dear Byakia was murdered, and now we gotta find out who the killer is. But Elthian. No, no, it did not start off that way. It started off as what? Heartthrob. Oh God, what, what was it? Something Island, right? We were supposed to be all be, we, we were supposed to be friends and, and get along and promote hope. Didn't, didn't pan out that way. Do you have too much pie? No. Have a good night as well, Arcus. Appreciate you stopping by. I know the times of thing is kind of wonky. But have a good day tomorrow. Hope you get some good sleep. You had too much knife pie? Maybe you had the pie knife. Impossible. Oh, right. He dropped the earring. Right. It is the Hellhound earring. Fine. Long ago, in a faraway land, a beast known as the Hellhound was feared by all, even by he who summed it. Well, this is certainly random. The Hellhound to tore its way through innumerable battlefields, its fangs glistening with blood. 
and his drenched blood red fur would dry in the howling winds of loneliness. When I finally tamed that diabolic beast, I received an earring to commemorate that event. The Hellhound Earring. So that I may never forget the night I battled that fearsome Pomeranian. I wear that earring at all times. Is that really about a friggin' Pomeranian? I understand that it's important to you, but for now, we need to investigate. I won't let you! Does it seem he's not gonna let us investigate? That's just rude, bro. The carpet didn't cover the whole floor. It might have fallen through the gaps between the exposed floorboards. Hmm. What if we're gonna find his earring right underneath, uh... Where Biakia is? That'd be pretty sus. Hmm. I can see it. Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> Seems God exists for my benefit. This is like every edgy middle schooler ever, isn't it? I love it. Let me ask. We're going to use the tool. It'll probably not reach either. Just give up. What? Give up what? The world? I'd give up the earring. The world will come to an end if the human race were to lose that ear. Well, technically, technically, actually, um, the earring is it the it, it's it's not lost because you know where it is, right? It's just out of your reach. To be lost, one would have to not know the location of said misplaced item. The, the item has been found. We know exactly what it, it's... I, I... He's a Chuni? I have no idea what that is. If you flinch, you will die. Explain, please. Fine. Should I do something about it on my own? Excuse me, I must go save the world! Once the earring back by any means necessary, his determination is truly inspiring. Speaking of which, uh, I posted this over on Discord, but I saw the, uh, I saw the Undertale concert event, uh, from, from a little while back. And, uh, yeah, that was, that was something. That was, that was good. That was really good. Chunibyo? I... Words. The rogative colloquial term in Japanese language used to describe a person who manifests delusional behavior, particularly thinking that one has special powers uh, that no other... Oh. Oh, wow. Yeah, close enough. Okay. Huh. Interesting. Very interesting. Myru, are you okay? Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. What's going on? Wait, don't don't tell me it actually it actually does. Wait, no, 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 no. One of the Yaki is alive and well, and in an instant, something awful suddenly happens. Yeah? Oh my gosh. Poor middle schoolers. Poor, poor middle schoolers. It's already been determined you've already accepted it, haven't you? This is the worst. Oh, that Byaki is dead? We have to find out who the killer is. Find out which friend killed our friends. I don't like it either, but we won't survive if we don't go through with it. It's not just for yourself. We have to do it to protect all of us. If, if I'd only acted calmer during the blackout, Yakia might still be alive. This is the worst. This whole thing would have never happened. Stop blaming yourself. Nothing good will come of it. Jeez. Getting cheered up by a boy isn't like me at all. Hey, Hajime. Forget about what I just said. Got it? Yeah, that's fine. Got it. Hmm. Anyway, I won't dwell on it for now. I can't become a burden to everyone. Mood. Plus, there might be a clue that only I have access to. A clue? 
photos. The ones I took just before the blackout, remember? Oh yeah, you did take a picture, didn't you? Okay. Used to know an honest to god tuning. Really? What was your uh, your interaction like, NG? Colloquial uh, far from middle school to. Wait, wait, no. That translates to middle to middle two disease, middle school second year syndrome or eighth grade. Wow, wow, wow. That's wow. Again with the digital camera. Are we gonna find hero stuff away somewhere? Oh. Abuki's here. Um. Huh. Where's the grape? Where's the grape soda? Or the grape drink? I guess that could be a different table. Hi, Byakuya. Took these two photos right before the blackout, but... Is something wrong? Hmm. Didn't realize until just now, but right before the blackout, Byakuya was standing in a totally different place than where we found him. Wasn't his body under the table with the lamp on top of it? The one underneath the monitor? Prior to that, Byakuya was standing along the wall farthest away from the table. You're right, that's pretty far. Seth Naruto and some of the things last time I saw, heard of him, he was walking around town dressed as Deadpool. <laughs> I know people who walk around towns in cosplay. Without being really weird about it. It's just like a, a fun thing that they want to do dressed out as something. Like, that's unconventional, maybe. But I feel like their fascination with it is what would be what would tend to be really problematic. Right? Everyone's staying in position. Everyone's standing position before the blackout might be a huge clue. Can you approximate everybody's standing position from these photos? Just thinking the exact same thing. It'd be hard to understand from the photos alone, so it might be better for me to plot it out. Someone call the police on him for carrying. Yikes. Yikes. Yeah, that's a. Uh, that's an oof. What's up, Elthian? You better, do your best. better work hard on your investigation, too. How much longer are you planning to stand around? Do you understand? You should watch when supernatural battles become commonplace. What? I I I am down. I am intrigued. I am I am my my interest has been piqued. I'm curious. The comedy anime? I you could tell me anything about it. It's it's a murder mystery. It's a murder drama. It's uh it's uh, it's it's it's, it's a uh, it's a complete drama. I uh, I believe it. I don't know what to make of that title. Main character the tuning. Okay. Okay. Hmm. It's good she's all fired up now, but she's a totally different person now than when she was feeling down. But his is useless. <laughs> That's fantastic. Hey, Hajime, there's something I want to run by you. Before the blackout occurred, Yakia was in the dining hall with the rest of us, right? Yeah, that's right. 
And if Byakuya's dead body was discovered after the blackout, then don't you think he died during the blackout? Well, now that you mention it, yeah. But why was Byakuya's body under a table? Even if the killer tried to hide him, it's not like he would have stayed hidden forever. Isn't it confusing? You're absolutely right. It seems finding out what exactly happened during the blackout is key to solving the mystery. There's no way I'd know. It was so dark during the blackout, I couldn't see a thing. That's not it. Although, if seeing wasn't possible, then there's a possibility someone might have heard something. Are you talking about her? Who? <laughs> Hello, medical knowledge person. I like how, I like how the pop-ups. Come on. I apologize if if I'm not reading everything blind for line tonight, man. I'm I'm tired. I'm sore. I'm just gonna be very low key here. <laughs> Terribly sorry about that for showing you something so unsightly. Mikan, Mikan, Mikan. We need to talk. I'm I'm so sorry. No! Why? Why? Got swallowed by the blackout, slipped on the carpet. Once I was struggling to get back up. If I would, I could. I'd very much like to erase it from my memory. And it's a truth bullet! Oh my god. Why? <laughs> Stay in mind. You sick fucks. No! Why does this exist? <laughs> that is false. <laughs> on top of the table? The only thing on top of this table that really catches my eye is the lamp. The desk lamp, yeah. Looks like an antique, an antique lamp and it seems rather heavy. The power cord was connected to the outlet, so it would have been useless during the blackout. Other than that, there's nothing else on the table that really stands out to me, so... Now is not the time for me to flinch. Let out a shout as if to encourage myself, and quickly looked beneath the table. Immediately, I noticed an unexplainable smell, like rusted iron hanging in the air. And during the stinging pain in the back of my eyes, I slowly shifted my gaze toward Byakuya's body. Byakuya Tsugami, the ultimate affluent progeny. He was the kind of guy who said a lot of hurtful things. But he tried his best to lead everyone. But why did he have to end up like this? Only thing I can do right now, for Byakuya's sake, is to uncover the truth behind his death. Right, okay, so my hunch was right. We got the tape. It looks like the the knife was connected to the tape. We got some night vision goggles. Hmm. Hmm. Something stuck to the back of the table. Is this duct tape? Seems to be paint there seems to be paint applied to the non-sticky side of the duct tape. And the dim light beneath the table seems to glow dully. Could this be glowing paint? Hmm. Hmm. And this is obviously the knife missing from the kitchen, right? Is this the weapon that killed Byakuya? Hold on. How did the killer bring this knife to the dining hall in the first place? 
Byakia thoroughly patted down everyone and thoroughly inspected every corner of this old building. And all the confiscated dangerous items were supposed to be placed in that Duralamun case. It's possible they stole this knife from the case. Or they hid it somewhere hard to find. Also, there's one more thing about this knife that's strange. There's some kind of paint that's been applied to the hilt. And the dim light beneath the table seems to glow dully. Could this be glowing paint? Hmm. Hmm. Gotta wonder. Oh, is it really? I definitely don't remember it from the first game then. I like it. I like this remix. Why is there a pair of binoculars under the table? Okay. This almost hurts me as much as the... As the lifeguard at the, at the bathtub, right? This isn't... This is... This is a bathtub! This isn't the beach! It hurts me so much. So much. Perhaps... Those are... Controller, don't do this to me again. Don't disconnect and reconnect and unconnect and disconnect and re... Those are probably night vision goggles. Um... Um... There we go. Night vision goggles? I've seen them- I've seen them at the supermarket on this island. They also stock self-defense kits, too. <laughs> well, if only Byaki had one, am I right? Did the killer use these night vision goggles to kill Byakia during the blackout? Yeah, I'm curious. I'm curious if that's what the game wants us to think. I'm curious if the game is going to be like, actually, Byakia is the one who taped the knife down. And Byakia is the one who had the night vision, the night vision goggles on him. And he was trying to get over to the table to defend himself from the real killer. Hmm. 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 The bodies collapsed face down under the table. As if he was in the middle of attempting something. Looks like he was. According to the Monokuma file, he was repeatedly stabbed in the throat and abdominal region. Repeatedly stabbed. Would one of us really do something so horrible? Hmm. Can't say I've done enough investigating? Oh, the blood. Ah. The blood flowing from Byakia's body formed a huge pool under the table. That's a lot of blood. His blood splattered everywhere. Even the inner side of the tablecloth is covered in blood. Why would the inner side be... Covered. Hmm. Did Byaki inflict this upon himself? No, surely not. Was someone else down here? Like, that's a lot of blood to be just splurred everywhere. Don't seem to be any drag marks leading from the blood pool. Hmm. Hmm. I'm sure I pretty much investigate what's under the table. Despite the fact that it's just me, I think I'm working pretty hard. Even if it's just a little... I'm sure we're gonna get, we're getting close to the truth behind Byakia's death. 
Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's ketchup. It's ketchup. Taro, Taro probably, probably provided that, huh? Well, other things. Yeah, I get like six hot dogs on the table. Controlled air conditioner. Air conditioner? Could it be? All of you, why can't you act a little more grown up? What was that sound just now? Air conditioner is probably the only machine inside this room. And the air conditioner's remote control. The timer is set to 11.30. I'm pretty sure Byakuya's time of death was around the same time. Hmm. Probably came from this air conditioner, that makes sense. My flashes of inspiration aren't as bad as I thought. So the question becomes, who said it? Oh my god, now what? What am I missing? The case? Ah, this is the metal case Byaki had with him. I believe he said it was made of Duralumin. The last time I saw it was closed, but... There are a lot of odd things inside this case, like a nightstick and pepper spray. Well, what's this? A hard plastic case, but it's just a case. The inside is empty. I wonder what was inside. The one thing that really catches my attention is this small key. Must be the key to the other case. The other case was in the office and all of the collected dangerous items were inside of it. If the key to that case is right here, then it's unlikely that the murder weapon used to kill Byakuya was taken from that case. Which means the weapons inside the case aren't related to Byakuya's murder. Even so, I still don't get it. Why did Byakuya have this case in the first place? A case packed with all of the security equipment. Maybe he's being extra cautious just in case? No, that can't be right. That's way too overboard. Could he have known something was going to happen beforehand? And because of that, he went to all this trouble to be extra careful. Did the, did the empty case look like a, a camera case to anyone else, or is that just me? How'd you make it? What's up, Nagito? When we're finished with the investigation here, would you like to hear what everyone else ha has to say together? If I go by myself, some people might not talk to me out of caution. Well, we've been told that one of us is a killer. It can't be helped if everyone's on edge right now. But why me? <laughs> You're easy to talk to, and I feel like you have a sense similar to mine. Is that the sense of the protagonist, I wonder? Even so, what he said about us being similar, I don't think I agree. Now then. Guess for now we should search the inside of this old building and listen to what the others have to say. Not just the dining hall. I think we should consider this whole building the scene of the crime. After all, the blackout that took place at the time would have happened throughout this entire building. Okay, that's fair. Hmm, what is it? It is strange, no? It appears that only that wall is the different color and material. Why is that? Perhaps. Oh, it's probably a fire door. I definitely thought that it was It opened up towards us and like it blocked off the rest of the area, right? Like this is these are two different areas from here downwards to the kitchen or to the storage room, and this door blocked that off. 
like a fire door, yeah. But now I'm wondering if like it's actually like part of the wall and there's a room inside. Just like lining up plastic bottles around the house. What? That's only done to keep caps from- what? Is that a thing? Huh. I am ashamed. Truly, I am culturally ignorant. I'm ashamed of myself. It's okay. It's okay, Sonia. A great man once said, investigations should be done on foot. Yes. That's why I'm also using my feet. I'm just walking around for no particular reason. Well, if there's no reason, then there's no meaning. Hey. Hajime, I just realized something. Could she by any chance know what happened during the blackout? Yeah, I was just thinking the same thing. Are you serious? How did you know? So you did hear us, even though Hajime and I were talking pretty softly just now. <laughs> Not only do I have a perfect face, style, and personality, I also have perfect ears. Next, you know, she's going to say that she has perfect pitch. Your hearing is so good, maybe you heard what actually happened during the blackout. Hey. When the blackout happened, you could hear everybody's voice throughout the dining hall, right? Couldn't tell, but... You would have been able to make out who's who, right? Why does she have a Pinocchio? Pino huh. Very poor hearing. In terms of like being able to actually like perceive sounds or in terms of pitches. Because, like, perfect, perfect pitch is relatively uncommon. Pretty uncommon. Uh, like, most positions tend to develop, uh, oh, what is it? Relative pitch? Where you have, like, your, like, home, home pitch, and then you determine what, what pitch a, a, a sound is, a tone is, um, based to what you know as your home noise. Pitch, sound, tone, thing. Loud sound degrading you're hearing over time. For sure. That's why a lot of- well, I mean... For the musicians I know who play live, like, it's common for them to wear, like, earplugs or something. To, uh... Not take that all in. <laughs> Lolly Lala? Okay, Buki likes Nightcore confirmed? I see. I mean, like, it'll be easy as pie, except eating fried rice with gravy for breakfast is kind of heavy. Fried rice with gravy? Ugh. Ugh. I... I, qu I question that. I, I, I'm biased towards gravy. I don't like gravy at all. Although... I do like me some curry. You win this round. She should make a metaphor with a more common type of fried rice, like egg fried rice or lettuce fried rice. Anyway, can you tell us what she heard? Is that a threat? An invitation or an offer? Yep. If you tell us, I'll let you buy a Hajime leader. Thanks, Nagito. Stop it, what if she takes you seriously? The first person who raised their voice during the blackout was... That's right, it was Mahiru. Mahiru? Next was Kazuichi's voice. And then the next next voice was mine. Hey, I can't see anything. It's, it's pitch black. My future is 
is pitch black. What a nice remark I made. It's to the point and has its own unique charm. Just continue. Then there were more voices, one after the other. Everyone, calm down. We gotta stay calm in a situation like this. Don't step on my feet. What the hell? What's going on here? This is. That's gotta be when Byakuya is getting the stab stab, right? The gears, the gears are whirring. I don't know if I'm reading too much into it. I'm probably reading too much into it, but how's Taro Taro here? Specifically, how does he know that was in the kitchen? Was he in the kitchen? And he came out to the dining room? With, like, bringing food in? I don't... I don't remember. I don't think Teru was in the... in the photographs. Hold on a sec. I'll go along the wall and do something about it. Hmm... Suspicious. Praise me, praise me! Give me lots of praise! Yeah, chat, give me lots of praise. I heard you the first time. Seriously, don't get any closer. Hey, Nagito, say something to her. Hey, did something happen? No, I was just thinking about what Byakuya said during the blackout. What Byakuya said? Hey. Why did he say something like that? Rather, why was he able to say that? What the hell? What's going on here? And this is... What do you mean? About that. Why don't we discuss it after we've investigated a little bit more? For now, I can't really say anything for certain. Well, it's not like I really care. Yep. Anyway, don't you think Ibuki's account just now is an important clue that will lead us to the truth? Yeah, then praise me! Let me bite ya! Ow, why are you really biting me? That is a thing, I guess. Oh, hey, dude. Thanks, you see me. Nice, Engie. This storage room is really dusty and dark. Wow. My hands were full of clean on the dining hall, so I couldn't even touch this room. It even has cobwebs. There's no way I could stay in here for the for a long time. Oh, excuse me. There's a huge piece of cloth randomly shoved in here. Perhaps. Is this a tablecloth? Oh, a tablecloth? Wait, huh? Hold on, there's something on it. Is this a blood stain? Huh? Come here, take a closer look. What? It's 
too dark. I can't really see that clearly. There's no mistaking it. This is clearly a bloodstain. Which means this tablecloth is connected to Byakuya's murder, right? Well, if that tablecloth has a bloodstain on it, then it's a possibility. Seriously, it is a bloodstain. All right, time to leave the boxes alone. Eyes don't miss a thing. I was looking for Biaki after the blackout. I also found these irons, but... When I found them, all three of them were turned on. Huh. Okay, which means that something... Yeah, okay. So... That means that... The reason there was a blackout in the first place was because so many appliances were turned on or electricity being used, divided, whatever, that the breaker... Yeah, okay, okay. Let's... Okay. Hajime. Alright, well, thanks for not being so subtle, game. How do I get to the office? That's the restroom. Oh, there's the office. Okay. Remember, guys. Remember. If you need to use a fire extinguisher, just remember, pass. Pull, aim, squeeze, spray. <laughs> no idea, Lightning. Uh, this has nothing to do with our previous cast except for one character, and we have no idea what that entails. When we started, the world was normal, just like last time. Someone appears to be inside. Since it's a unisex bathroom, I don't know who's actually in there. Hey! Is that Neko? Hmm. Hmm. Really? So, yes, we, uh, when it started, we saw a door, we were led to a classroom, we met our classmates, and then we saw a bunny version of Monokuma, who took us to an island. I definitely thought that, like, we got transported from the classroom to the island, not just we were on the island. But that, that works too. That works too. All right, I guess we'll check out the circuit breaker first then. Hi, Pecco. I hope you're okay. <laughs> I can already tell. You doubt me, correct? It did. It did. But I took that as whatever magic brought the classroom with them to the island. It meant that, like, the classroom just, like, dissipated into the island because magic. That's, that's... Because the zombie had her magic stick, right? Like, I don't, like... I don't know. I don't know how magic works. Unexpected blackout occurred, and during that time, Byakuya was killed. Anyway. Circuit, break Circuit Breaker is in this office nationally. I look suspicious since I was supposed to be here. Wait. Supposed to be here? What does that mean? I see. So I was right, you weren't in the office. But why? Weren't you supposed to guard the circuit breaker in the Duralumen case with all the weapons in it? So where'd you run off to on your own? Well... 
Peku suddenly dropped to one knee and started groaning on the spot. That told me she went to use the restroom. And that's why Neko was having so many issues. I'm just not feeling too well. I apologize. Ex mm. 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 She's the bathroom inside this old building is currently occupied. So I recommend either the hotel lobby or your cottage. Huh? Seems like it'll be a tough, a tough path. With cold sweat dripping from her forehead, Pekka wobbled out of the office. What happened to her? It's kind of hard for me to say it myself. I already feel bad enough for Pekka as it is. All right. We're gonna let that slide. Mm, is that really what it is? Mm, I don't know. This case, it should contain all the dangerous items Biakio collected. Hey. Maybe we should check inside just to be safe. But it's locked. Yep. Biakio had the keys to this particular case with him. Check it out. I brought it with me, so there's no need to worry. Hey, is it okay to take that key without permission? Now, now. It's forbidden to tamper with the crime scene. But if we don't, we can't check inside the case, right? <laughs> so I should open it. This guy, he doesn't feel any remorse. Forks, kitchen knives, iron skewers, and various tool tools are crammed inside. But it's not possible that the killer took anything from here. Because the key to this case was inside the case Biaki had with him. I guess you're right about that. This remote control is for the office's air conditioner. Hmm. The timer here is set to 11.30. Wasn't the timer for the air conditioner in the dining room of the dining hall also set for that time? It can't be a coincidence, right? Also, who keeps who keeps your AC unit at 86 degrees? How cruel do you have to be? Sayaka? Sakaya? Sakuya? Maybe. Hey, isn't Pekka the killer? Why do you think that? I mean... Well, she wandered off somewhere, even though she was supposed to be in the office. When we were looking for Byaki after the blackout, I went to the office right away, but... When I got here, she was gone. Well... I shouldn't say this too loudly or else Miss Sonia will yell at me. Hmm. Pekka is probably the one who tripped the circuit breaker. And he's the blackout to her advantage to kill Byakia. Hey. And don't you think she looks kind of ruthless too? Like an assassin, right? Well, it's not like you look any better. Oh, that's a great question, Angie. Yeah, I'd imagine they changed it. Yeah. That must be this old building circuit breaker. The blackout probably happened because of this. It doesn't look like someone did anything to it. Nothing else looks suspicious either. The circuit breaker is pretty high up. Even if you use a step ladder, you won't reach it. Hmm. Yeah, I totally agree. That's why it's so mysterious. Well, during the blackout, I was panicking so bad I forgot about that, but you're right. Even with a step ladder, there's no way you'd be able to reach that circuit breaker. Which means someone must have reset the breaker after the blackout, but who? Monokuma did it. Huh. Actually... You idiots had no idea what to do about the blackout, so I'm the one who reset the circuit breaker. By the way... By the way, I'm not the one who tripped the breaker. The killer did that, of course. But how did someone as small as you reset the breaker? Hey, um... Firstly, my eyes work real good at night, so I have no trouble seeing in the dark. And if you want to know how I reach the circuit breaker... My body stretches. I won't be fooled. That's terrifying. It's true. Want to see a version of Monokuma with his body all stretched out? It's gross! It's grotesque! No thanks, just imagine it makes me want to puke. Same. So cool. 
Hmm. I see. Hmm. Well, in that case, I'm convinced. There's no way we'd be able to reach that. How indeed? What a great question, protagonist. They didn't trip it, or said to be tripped. Now then. I guess we're done with the office, don't you think so? I've been found. I'll take those monobucks. Is this the desk the staff use for busy work? Hmm. There's nothing in particular that catches my eye. Keeps giving a Trojan night. Uh. Uh. Buy a new hard drive, Georgie. Buy a new OS. Good luck. How you doing tonight? Gosh, I'm so I'm so tired, y'all. I'm so sorry. Do I want to go outside? Hmm. Nope, not yet. Okay. Where do I want to head off to? Huh. Well, that's good. That's exciting. Glad to hear that panned out for you. I don't know, man. Oh my god. Yeah, dude, I've had a really long day at work, and I'm just, I'm just stressed and exhausted is my state right now. I apologize for yawning so much. Got it. All right, that's rude, my hero. It was an accident. Okay. Mm. Um. What the hell did just witness? Welcome to Danganronpa, Georgie. My current objective is. Uh, no, it's still locked. Where did Pekka go? She looked pretty pale. Wow. Uh, if she made it, then I'm sure she's fine. Beyond that, it'd be improper for me to say. 
Okay. There's nothing else, right? <laughs> Very true. Very true, buddy. Can I go outside now? Where do I want to look around too? I guess the kitchen could be nice. Hey, were you in the kitchen during the blackout territory? Uh. <laughs> that blackout totally startled me. At first I thought it was just in the kitchen. Well, when I finally managed to get out of the kitchen, the hallway was pitch black too. And then I heard everybody's voices. So I fumbled along the wall and tried to feel my way to the dining hall. That place was pitch black too. It was like pitch black everywhere. Couldn't you have used that kitchen stove as a light? Is it electric? No, 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 no. This gas stove needs electricity to work. So it was directly affected by the blackout. Well, I see, then I guess it's not possible. Hmm. Just from reading through this list, it looks like the knife next to Byakuya's body didn't come from the kitchen. It appears to have been brought from the outside. Really? That's weird. Hmm. Strange, isn't it? I mean, he didn't even go easy on the girls when he was performing the pat-downs. If that's the case, they probably brought the knife in advance and hid it somewhere. Hey. Still, it's surprising how much equipment this kitchen has. There are iron plates for barbecuing and even a portable stove for cooking hot pots. But this is all stuff that doesn't pertain to the murder, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Amazing. That meat is so big. You know, I was shocked. Yeah. Guess that's about it's it. a fish. It's a it's a fish dit for a tropical. <laughs> I'd never be able to get meat like that back in. Yeah, that that. I get it. You don't have to repeat yourself, but it's so big. Where did you get it? <laughs> I asked Nakamaru. Apparently, he killed a cow at the ranch with his bare hands and brought it over. His bare hands. <laughs> Guys, can I get some Fs? We need to stand with the cows. We need to step up and be responsible and prevent this bear on cow fighting. Poor cows. We we'll want to get punched by those hands, indeed. Seriously, Nakamaru is so wild. He's totally right at home in a country setting. I'm so jealous. My hometown is near Aoyama and Azabu. So wild country things like that, they slip my mind a lot, you know? Man. Well, I guess this meat has gone to waste since this awfulness happened right when the price started. The only ones who ate any food were Kane and Peko, who took some portions for herself. 
Don't say that. After I worked so hard to cook the world's most refined party dishes, only two people actually tasted them. Well, it's not like I actually believe it, but there really is a killer out there. I'll probably never be able to forgive that killer. I guess I'm pretty much finished investigating the, the kitchen for now. Let's get going. Okay, it looks like you pretty much finished looking around the old building. I still think Terra is pretty sus. Yep. Hey. You mean, am I worried about you being the killer? <laughs> to be honest, I don't think you're the killer. In fact, I can't even imagine it. It's like, instead of living with doubt in others, it's so much better to die believing in others. Don't talk like that. We're doing this so we can live, you know. I see. As I thought, you sure are strong. You are definitely the chosen one. Chosen by Hope's Peak Academy. All right. That's an odd thing to say. Alright then, let's get going. To Piaccio's cottage. You're the 16th student. The moment I left the old building, there was a strange scene unfolding before me. Hey, what are you doing? What am I doing, you say? Ha! Now that is truly a foolish question. Um, we're just checking to see if we can get under the floor from here. Under the floor? Why? Who said it was futile? Who decided it was impossible? How did you know I cannot recover my earring? If it is possible to get under the floor, it'll change our understanding of the murder, I think. So I thought it was important to check it. I see. Under the floor, huh? I never considered thinking of something like that. What do you mean? See? Come on, think about it. Hey. The carpet I laid didn't reach the table where he found Biaki's body, right? And the dining hall floor had huge gaps between the floorboards. Then, is it possible that the killer killed Biaki by stabbing him from beneath the floor? Pog. What is this? Not like a Dragon Ball villain? <laughs> Interesting comparison, Georgie. I don't have an answer for you. I guess it's not possible to get under the floor from outside. The building is surrounded by firm fences, so there's no way to sneak under the floor from there. Hmm. You think there's a possibility that there's a hidden hole somewhere? No, that's not possible. Really? At any rate, it seems you can't get under the floor from outside the building. That's a relief. Relief? Why? If you could get under the floor from the outside, there'd only be one logical suspect. The only person who could come to the party and also doesn't have an alibi. Oh, right. Yak is the kid. I suspected him too. That's why I was checking to see if it's possible to get under the floor from outside. Well? Speaking of which, not long after I began guarding the entrance, Fuyuhiko came here. Huh? Oh, he did? Huh? What happened, Fuyuhiko? Huh? Oh, hey! What are you doing here? All alone at a place like this. Yep. Standing guard, some Monokuma doesn't come inside. How diligent of you. Hey, hey. Not committing you're not coming to the party. What are you saying? Hell no. Not even if you paid me. Parties are stupid. I don't I don't argue with that. 
You want to come to the party, right? Isn't that why you came here? Of course not. I was just going for a damn walk. What? Do I have to report to you every time I want to go for a fucking walk? That's wrong. No, it's not like that, but... Then leave me alone. And then he just left. So, that happened, but why did he come here? See? He probably wants to be a part of the group, but he can't be honest about it. He believes he's different from everyone else. That's why he's always alone. Hey, hey. He's like the main character of an RPG. Have you played those before? I don't know, Chet. Have we played an RPG before? Thank you. Uh, why don't we start talking about video games? I see. <laughs> yes, a rocket propelled grenade. Yes. Even though we don't really know what he's thinking. I don't think we have any reason to doubt him. I'm glad. You keep saying you're glad, but we have no idea who the killer is. Well, I guess for now we should stick to the plan and head over to Byakuya's cottage. As long as the probability is greater than zero, that will suffice. Not unleashed even half of my power yet. I will most assuredly reclaim the Hellhound earring with my own two hands. It seems he has no intention of investigating. Oh, have you not played the third one, NG? Gotcha. Makes sense. Oh god, I'm so out of it. I'm so tired. Oh my god. That's what I was looking for. No, no, I'm looking for Byakuya's. Why does I think I don't need to go to Fuyuhiko's? Because we were just talking about him, I guess? Huh. It's locked. I guess we need to ask him for help. So Nagito took a deep breath. Did you call me? This hurts. Nagito, when did you train Monokuma? Nope. Monokuma, I was wondering if you can do us a favor. There's something we want to investigate. Who are you talking to? That's just my after image. <laughs> I can even play soccer by myself as long as I have this colonial. What? I don't have time for this. Just hurry up and open Biakia's cottage already. Well, this is for the class trial. It's something we really need. For the class trial, there's no way I can refuse. Now then, there's only one spell that can open these doors. I'll leave the rest to you. Thanks. Why does it open with a magic spell? Jeez. 
probably powered by electricity. At any rate, that performance was a waste of time. You're right. Oh. Instead of a nice Monokuma shelf, he has a like actual bookshelf. Hmm. Hmm. Looks like the room's interior design isn't that different than mine. There's not much to worry about here. This bed. Nothing about it really catches my eye. It's a letter sent to Byakya? Hmm. That's weird. There's no sender. That looks pretty suspicious. Hajime. You should check what's inside. Let's see. Be careful! The first kill will happen tonight. Someone will definitely kill someone. If it says be careful, it's probably a threatening letter. Huh. This is why Byakuya suddenly decided to throw a party? Because someone made this threat to Byakuya, he gathered everyone in one area and was extremely cautious about all the dangerous items. He was trying to create a scenario in which everyone could monitor each other. He thought if he did that, nobody would be able to kill anyone. So he believed this crazy letter? Hey, hey, it's not crazy if it turns out to be true, right? Right? Amen. Remember what Byakuya kept saying? How he wouldn't let anyone become a victim? He couldn't overlook that slim possibility just to keep his promise. Then why did he keep it a secret if he had just told us? Then the killer would have been outed! He probably thought that was also worst case scenario. What do you mean? If everyone knew what was in this letter, whether it's a lie or not, everyone would have likely begun to doubt each other and at that point there'd be no turning back. So Byakuya tried to do something about this all by himself without telling anyone? Yep. Strong sense of responsibility is the only explanation I can think of. Anyway... Whoever sent Byakuya this letter also killed him. Is that what you're saying? Sorry. No, this could be a prank and it might have nothing to do with Byakuya's death at all. What was that? He suddenly became really quiet. I see. He doesn't want to believe one of us could be a killer. But still, we've come all the way here and it's the only thing I can think of. The person who wrote this letter murdered Byakuya. If that's the case, that person completely predicted how Byakuya would react once he received it, right? They planned to manipulate Byakuya and kill them right before our eyes in that old building. Damn it, who the hell would do that? Hey. Who indeed? Hmm. <laughs> yes, Mayu for a favor earlier, right? Oh right, the plot where everyone was in the in the room, yeah. Sorry. Huh? I need some time alone. I'd like this I'd like some time to collect my thoughts. Is Nagato gonna become our Kyoko? I think I said that last time too. Hmm. Bye now. Hmm. Intriguing. All right, let's hurry off to the old building. Uh, I'm actually going to take a quick break, get a little something, something to drink. See y'all in just a second. Don't compare that pheasant to Miss Kirigiri. What? 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 Pheasant? You know what? You know what? I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I'll see you soon, guys. Alright, 
Also, I know I've definitely talked about this soda before. Give me a second. Alright, so I know I've definitely talked about this soda before. But this is some Dog and Suds Black Cherry Soda. This is phenomenal. This is so good. I can open it. Mmm. Um, yeah, uh, go try to find it. Go try to order some. I'm sure that's probably possible. I've only seen this at one place, and it's out of state, so, um, you know. I don't know how to buttons. So there we go. I'm being, like, extra tedious about, um... Why are you here? Extra tedious about the, uh, about the pet. Hi, Monami. Oh, yeah. I might as well ask her about the old build- the old building's windows. Hey, do you have a sec? I want to ask you something. I don't wanna! I don't want to help you guys mistrust your friends. What the hell? It's not like we're doing this because we want to. No, now is not the time to fight about stuff like that. More importantly, do you know why the old building's windows are covered by iron plates? Huh? Iron plates? I covered them up so nobody makes the mistake of going inside since it's dangerous because of the renovation. I see the renovation, so that's why you cover them up. Because it's dangerous to go inside. Danger isn't supposed to exist on this island. This isn't how it was supposed to be. But why did it get like this? Just because it's cruel doesn't mean you can just keep crying like that. Crime won't solve anything. We have to do this no matter what, damn it. What's the soda called? Uh, it's just Black Cherry. By, uh... Not by. From? From Dog and Suds. Wanna see the label again? There you go. Is that Neko? What the hell was that loud voice just now? I hope Neko's feeling better. Hey, dude. I feel so lighthearted right now. I, Nekomaru Nidai, have been reborn. I have no intention of losing anymore. Losing to who? I won't lose to anyone. Not even to my past self. That sounds cool and all, but... What are you even talking about? I, I feel you, bro. I feel you. I feel you. I too often talk about shit. Some scoundrel was occupying the bathroom before the party was about to start. Now that you mention it, you said something like that shortly after the party started. Hmm. Hmm. If you think I'd be angered by something like that, you've all underestimated my nerve and patience. Do all and achieve all with one's presence of mind. That is the goal of a true leader. In other words, a leader must never falter in any situation, but always have the presence of one's mind. He says that, but I'm pretty sure he was shaken up by that whole ordeal. Well, that's not the only to it. Anyway, so you're saying the bathroom door was shut from before the party started to after the blackout? So what I mean is... And the bathroom was finally unoccupied after Biaki's body was found. That's about how long that lasted. He said some stupid and irrelevant, but I should remember it just in case. Thanks, Neko. I wonder if... if... Neko was the murderer because he was jealous of Byakuya. 
of yeah, keeping the I don't I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Hmm. We've already been here. We've but we've been here. We know. We know. We know. We know. Please don't bite me. Who do I talk to first? I kind of want to just bite the bullet and get it over with. If I talk to Mikan. Bite the truth bullet that is! If you'd like, I can tell you a little bit of what I want to say. <laughs> I tried within reason to perform an autopsy on Byakuya's body. And I discovered that there were several puncture wounds around Byakuya's chest and abdominal region. Deep wounds, deep enough to reach his lungs and internal organs. It can be assumed that a very thin, sharp object around 5 millimeters in diameter was used to stab him over and over again, which is what I believe. That's understandable. Have a nice day. I'm sorry. Talking about it made me sad. No need to push yourself. I mostly got the gist of what you wanted to say. Still, around 5 millimeter in diameter, huh? Isn't that pretty thin? That's as thin as an ice pick or an awl. Or a skewer, huh? Hmm. Hmm. Can I go to the kitchen now to take a look at the skewers? Oh no, I should probably go to the office, right? Because the skewers would be off in the in the case in the office. I wasn't wandering, I was investigating as much as I could. I see. Well if you weren't slacking off then, I guess it's fine. They changed Celsius to Fahrenheit but kept millimeters. I mean we use millimeters. Especially for like measuring like small things like. I've seen a common to go between millimeters or centimeters. Hmm. Unless I'm just living in a weird part of the US where that's, you know, not normal everywhere else. I can't speak for everyone's experiences. No, it's mighty sus that Nagito is the one by the air conditioning unit. Hmm. This is everyone sitting in position before the blackout. Everyone's pretty much in the dining hall. All right, let's take a look. Okay, so we have bathroom, question mark. We have Chiaki, sorry, Chiaki, question mark. Fujihiko, not present. Peko, should have been in the office, question mark. Byakuya all the way at the other end. Khan, Kazuichi, Mayu, Gundam, Ibuki, Hyoko. Hajime and I were pretty close to each other. Interesting. Nako no Kane. Nagito is the closest to the AC unit. 
Oh. And the lamp is plugged into... I'm assuming the line going from the lamp is connecting it to the socket, right? Okay. Just as I thought, Byakuya was sitting at far distance from the table. It's impossible. There's no way he'd be able to move that far during the blackout. Huh? What's this line extending from the table where Byakuya was killed? I drew the power cord for it just in case. Yep, nice. If that cord is extending from the table where Byakuya was killed, that means... Hey. Did you find something? It's not clear to me yet, but... I didn't really understand myself when I was drawing it. I have a feeling that it's either a potential clue or just a waste of labor. No, it wasn't a waste at all. Huh? It's not clear to me yet, but there's no mistake that a clue is hidden here. An extremely important clue. Already? Alrighty, guys! It's finally time! That's wow. right! It's time for the long-awaited class trial! Wow. Okay. Now then, I shall tell you all the meeting place. At the central island of Jabberwock Island, there is a mountain with my adorable face carved into it. That, my friends, is Monokuma Rock. Once you're there, please proceed to the underground by taking the elevator located at the secret entrance. <laughs> I'll see you soon! Is it bad that I kind of want a Monokuma-like character in my D&D world? And at like my... in one of my areas... One of my beach areas have a Monokuma rock or like rock dedicated to that. An obvious reference. Is that a bad thing? Is it bad that I feel inclined to do that now? Because I feel very inclined to do that now. A mountain with a carving of Monokuma's face at the central island? Hmm. I'll be a Monokuma. No. Wait, is this... Okay, so we're just going here. Okay. Hello, Zoid One. Where is this rock? Hello, Zoid Two. Oh, you're a snake. Hi, snake. Burb. Oh, there's a lighthouse. Well, that's kind of cool. What the fuck are you? Are you a horse dog monstrosity? Huh. Look at that. Oh. Huh? Are you kidding me? Hey, what the heck is that mountain? Well, when did that get there? Never mind that. How do they even make a mountain shaped like Monokuma? That story... That story might be true after all. There might be an enormous organization involved in all this. You mean what Byakuya said before, right? You are right. Byakuya... We still needed his knowledge. I still can't believe he's dead. Same. What happened to Gundam and Fu Fuyuhiko? Now that you mention it, it appears they aren't here yet. I know, they probably ran away. Oh, hell no. Nah. There's no way I let them escape. Look, I dragged this one back over here. 
I'm telling you, let me go. Hey, Fuhiko, what were you doing all this time? Huh? Nothing. I wasn't really doing anything. I was just chilling in my room when I suddenly heard that fat bastard got killed. <laughs> Who the fuck cares about that anyway? You. How could you say something so irresponsible? Do you understand? We've been doing our best to investigate this murder, even though we don't want to, just to survive. W wait! Mayuru, that's, that's enough. You too, Fuhiko. And I guess we're waiting for Gundam? What happened? I'm right here. Now Remember this again. well! A main character arrives when he intends to. Huh? It seems you noticed it too. <laughs> if I did, then I'm right. Well, Alright, now that everyone's all together, let's take the secret entrance to the trial field. Please, wait a second! My, my, Monami. Just what are you doing here? Nobody asked for you. Hmm? Do you actually want to join in? Do you want to taste how powerless you are at the class trial? the come but how do we get there i don't see any doors or vehicles what's going on you mentioned something about a secret entrance was it hmm. i see mr gundham got his uh earring back Be happy. Yep, there it is there it is Lost it after the blackout, right? What new evidence this is? Paco, are you doing okay? You looked like you weren't feeling well earlier. No. I appreciate your concern. However, there are other things we should be focusing on. That is... A huge organization. So, my kingdom has been cast in doubt. However, I do not think my government would participate in something like this. Well... Okay. Not again. In RPG video games, it is common for secret areas to be underground. Comparing our situation to a video game. Um. Um. Main character. I would like to inform you, you are playing a video game. Just, just so you're aware. What's up, Rusty? How you doing today, man? Oh, we're talking about Gundam. Oh, we're not talking about Gundam. Never mind. Whoa, Rusty with the fall arena. Thank you, my dude. Appreciate having you here. Thank you. What? Crimson Steel Elephants. Magazine. Magazine. Huh. 
<laughs> Not even remotely. Terra, God, Terra seems so, so suspicious to me. Your plan won't get us anywhere. If you're really a man, then man up for God's sake. Come this far, we have no choice but to keep moving forward. I like that mentality. If that's everyone's decisions, I'll just follow you guys. Yep. <laughs> Bye, Dusty. Have a good night. Shake with fear and nervousness, I hesitantly lifted my feet and stepped onto the escalator. I won't think anymore. If I think, I'll run away. All I could do was stare upward intensely as the escalator carried me. Wait, what did that? I completely missed this. One did the elevator? Escalator? Oh god. Whenever each when each of us entered Monokuma Rock. That's pretty neat. The entire rock is an elevator. Once again, Monokuma is doing what he pleases. However, he's gone this far and made something like this. I don't think he's playing around. Even so, we're going pretty deep. You're right. I heard an unnerving chattering sound inside my head. I soon realized it was the sound of my teeth. All I could do was purse my lips tightly so everyone else couldn't hear it. There we were, listening to unpleasant roars as the elevator plunged deeper and deeper into the earth. Some time passed before the elevator finally finished descending. And then, the elevator door slowly opened. What are we going to be thrust into? Oh, his, th his throne made a comeback. Interesting. This is the class trial field. How do you like it? It's a special place that will decide your fates. What the hell is he thinking? Locking us in a shitty looking place like this? Are you fucking crazy? Don't mess with me, asshole. <laughs> Complain all you like, I'm used to it by now. <laughs> Come on, you're wasting your time and energy. Hurry up and take your seats where your names are written. Looks like everyone knows. Even if we try to resist, it won't change a thing. Just as Monokuma ordered, we walked toward the seats we had been assigned. From this point on, we need to find out who killed Byakuya. The ultimate affluent progeny, Byakuya Tsugami. He was overly critical, arrogant, and condescending. But he also had a strong sense of responsibility. As we were panicking, he accepted his role as leader and tried his very best to keep us together. A guy like him got murdered. The person who did it is one of us. I can't believe it. There's no way I can believe it. But if it's really true... We need to find out by any means possible. Because that's our only option. There's no way for us to survive unless we sacrifice the killer. And so... This life-threatening trial billowing with hope and despair has begun. <sighs> what time is it? thinking about it i'm getting really really tired i've had a really long day at work today um does anyone know if this is a shorter trial and it should be pretty relatively easy to go through to finish or should i save it for when i'm having a little bit more energy what do we what are we all feeling tonight So I'm fine with either as long as it's not going to be too long or drawn out. Drawn, drawn out? <laughs> thank, thank you, Georgie. Depends on just how, like, what kind of length it is. 
really. Um, I can, I can just feel my eyes getting heavy already. Regardless, I'm going to save. Hmm. Oh, there are a ton of skills. Holy cow. I can change difficulty? Well, that's, uh, convenient. And is this going to go to our truth bullets? Yep. 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 Well, have a good night, Georgia. I appreciate stopping by, saying hey. There's a halfway mark in the trial, so you could go to that if you want. I'd rather all do it at once. I don't think, like, going from today to then, it's... It's fine. It's fine. We'll call here. Guys, I appreciate you chilling for a little bit. Sorry, I'm going to cut the stream a little bit early, but I am really tired. I've had one a hell of a day. Uh, we'll get back to Danganronpa. Well, I normally don't stream tomorrow, but I might have like a short little like makeup session to get through the class trial, get that finished, and then get on our normal cycle of just getting through the game. We'll see. We'll see how things go. Um... Yeah, sorry guys. Sorry for having to delay for a little bit. Uh, in the meantime, have a good night, y'all. Thanks for stopping by. It's been a blast having you here. <laughs>